Louisiana Beer Reviews, Great Raft Brewing Southern Drawl Pale Lager. Brewed in Shreveport, Louisiana. This company was founded in 2012. But these beers have just arrived in southeastern Louisiana this week. 28 international bitterness units, 52, 5.2% alcohol. There's a lot of glare and it's throwing me off. Uh, it says sit a spell and slow down. And there's a chair with a banjo and a cricket and, uh, or a grasshopper. It says German influenced, mildly, wildly southern brewed, traditional, drinkable, uh, etc. etc. Okay, um, don't know what it says on Rape Beer because their website was down. Beer Advocate saying it's okay. There was one video review for it, Greg's Beer Reviews, and he said it was okay. I've never had it, I just bought it. Um, here at almost, that's 9.50 a.m. So, let's see what, what happens here with this. Don't see a date, and Greg was complaining, saying, put the date, guys. He actually gave it a lower rating because it didn't have a date. Okay. So, They call it Great Raft because Shreveport is located on the Red River, which is a tributary of the Mississippi River. So I could walk up the levee and then up, up the Mississippi River is a mile from here and just keep on going and go up the Red River and get to Shreveport. Uh, that is a thick white head and a very hazy yellow appearance. Yeah, straw appearance. And some streaming bubbles, uh, ascending bubbles. But for a long time, the, the Red River was blocked by this huge, you know, clump of trees and debris. It just went on for miles and miles, and it blocked the whole river. I mean, the water maybe was trickling through it, and they called it the Great Raft. And finally, this man, Captain Shreve, of the United States uh, Corps of Engineers, United States Army Corps of Engineers figured out a way to break it up and then it opened the Red River to commerce and traffic and then Shreveport was named after Captain Shreve, Shreveport and it became a port city along the river for that, you know, southern midwestern trade area, northwest Louisiana, Arkansas. Texas, Oklahoma, so uh, kind of a gateway to the west. Okay, uh, the aroma is sweet, bready, mild. There's a little grassy hops, I guess you would say, in there. It smells really nice, though. Um, the flavor. Sweet, bready, mild. It reminds me of, now there's wheat in this, okay? So it's not actually a true lager. It's more like a wheat <coughs> lager hybrid. I was trying to think what it reminded me of. Some European beer, can't remember the one, not the name. It might have been from Belgium. It was like a wheat lager hybrid. There's certainly grassy hops in the back. Because they're using the, the Pilsen and Germ, Pils, German Pilsner malt and wheat malt and Tettnanger and Pearl hops. The body's medium. And the finish is pretty crisp, clean, refreshing. It's nice. Uh, the wheat does add a softness to it, a different aspect. Nice lacing. I think that's what's, like I say, throwing people off and making them give it a lower rating because they're, they're wondering why it has that funny kind of off 
and I don't mean off like it's bad or turned just off for the style um, boy it's really slick in the mouth um I like it and I would give it A, a B plus. I think it is very good. I don't know about excellent, but it is very good. I'm glad I got to try it. It was inexpensive. I bought this at Matherns for like dollar forty nine for the single, which is good. To, you know, when you're buying one beer. You know, going back to Shreveport. Yes, it's in the South. It's an old Southern city, about two hundred thousand people, but um, two hundred twenty. But in a lot of ways, it has more in common with you know, start and get out west with, it has more in common with Texarkana and Oklahoma. I mean, if you go to Shreveport, you're not that far from the uh, Ozark Mountains. And you're not that far from Dallas and Fort Worth. And when you get to Fort Worth, you know, you're really getting into the west. So it's sort of a transition, <laughs> excuse me, area. And even the Indians there, they used to have buffalo out in that part. Um, of Louisiana and um, even the Indians were considered more like Plains Indians whereas the rest of Louisiana was you know your southern woodlands tribes but anyway thought I'd bring that up so if you see it buy and try it you'll probably like it if you can deal with the odd aspect of it and I'm gonna say laissez les bon temps good beer and y'all come on down to New Orleans